I don't usually do reviews like this, everyone, but this is something which has really impressed me, and it's something that Santa actually brought my But this little box is really huge. Like it's actually the biggest box I've ever seen for a Lego product. And, like, it, I cannot even express how big. It's like, my whole arm. And it's just huge. The model inside, as you can see, of an aircraft carrier is massive. And it has... 1,875 pieces, so you can see that it is huge, that is a pile of all the pieces there in little bags. Now, I'm not seeing numbered bags, which is a worry, but I am seeing really nice instructions, where at least we see the parts we need, unlike the character building ones. And you can see we've actually even got elements of glue, we have to glue these models together, they don't just snap together, I don't think, like they would if this was a um, Lego set, but anyway. This is really exciting, this is something really new and really different, and I'm looking forward to showing you guys what it looks like when it's done. But I just thought you better have, you know, everyone loves unboxing shots, everyone can see, you know, this massive box in here, which was actually quite, quite full. So they've done a good job with that, not too much box bloat, actually had two compartments in there, but anyway. So. Well, here it is, you can see that it's the, um, Slurban aircraft character built in all its glory. Now, if this wasn't the longest Lego build, or well, Lego type design build that I've ever seen in my house, I must have had amnesia, because this thing, although built by my brother, who's not the fastest Lego builder, took so long to build. Now, there are multiple reasons for that, and I'll get to those later, but I think the first thing that I have to say about this set is it's got a really impressive size. I mean, you can see, look, there's my hand. This thing is just wow. It's so big, and I think that's definitely something that makes it certainly worth the price because this is a very impressive set and so I think that for me to fairly have a look at this I better show you what I actually get from this set before I start ripping it apart as is you know becoming less and less commonplace on YouTube these days otherwise the toy companies aren't happy but hey I already have banned from having ads on my channel so I can just do whatever I want right anyway let's get on with the review so here we go the first thing I have to say about this set is that it's got a lot of details on it now, not only do we have this nice, smooth um, runway area, which has got those nice little decals. Come on, you can focus. You can do it. Yeah, there we go. We've got a lot of, like, little bits and pieces that really add to the texture of the set. So you've got these kind of little army joints, um, these little bits here, these kind of bits and bobs that all kind of hang off the edge to make it look, you know, a bit more realistic and have some more texture. Now, what you get is you get this kind of really nice design of the, um, the bulkhead and the kind of graduated bow of the sh bow, bow, oh dear, anyway, of the ship, clearly I don't know what I'm talking about with ships. You get the nice red on the bottom with that white stripe dividing it from the grey. You get a really nice kind of design of ship. And then at the back here you get some little propeller details as well. And then when you come up to the top, as I said, you get these little kind of features, the base, and you get a really nicely detailed um, control tower. So as you can see, the scale is quite small because that's where people are meant to be inside there. So these windows are obviously quite large. Um, but it looks really nice because there's a lot of stuff happening. You've got bits and pieces coming off. You've got some, you know, of these weird kind of switchy joints. You've got some arms. You've got a little chimney funnel thing. You've got this conning tower, which is a propeller, which is really nicely done. So you get that, which as I said, if I spin it around, you can see it's very nicely textured, very nicely done. And you come here and you've even got some little uh, bay doors, which you can actually get your planes into all the way, just about. And they can go and hide in there for storage underneath the deck. You also get these couple of raised little plates for launching your planes. And then you also have the benefit of this display stand, which makes it a lot easier to display this model since it's actually ginormous. So it is a very nicely detailed model and it does look quite good. However, that's really all I can say and tell you about the actual model itself, apart from the fact you do get three designs of vehicle, four designs, sorry. You get this plane type here, you get like a stealth, there's a stealth fighter, there's also a sonic jet, which looks kind of similar, but you know, not too bad, with the little rolly wheels that don't assemble with glue like I thought they did, they just click all together, which is nice. And then you get the helicopter with double spinning blades. Now these aren't attached um, rigidly, so they can either be together or apart, which I think was quite cool when you're spinning them. Um, they're hollow on the inside, and got a little hole to connect them to something, but they still look quite nice. And you also get two of these little patrol boats as well, which I'm not exactly sure how they're supposed to get from up here to the water. But again, that kind of gives you an idea of the scale of this ginormous set. If this is a patrol boat, which is meant to fit, you know, one or two people inside it, and you can see that, you know, 
I can set it up on a deck like that. This set is huge. I think the scale is 1 to 300 and something. So you kind of get the idea that it's a massive set. So now let me tell you, but it's not all sparkles. So let's have a look at what I didn't particularly like about this set. Okay, so the first thing to say about this is that the build was shocking because there were no numbered bags. And you can just let, I can just let you imagine what 1,875 pieces looks like on a board. It's a mountain of pieces. And you could spend up to, you know, like half an hour searching for one of these tiny little ring pieces in that huge pile. So I think that that definitely hindered the building experience because it was really, really hard to try and get that to work. Now, the actual building itself is quite nice. Um, and the bricks that they give you, although, here, I'm going to take this one off for you. Yeah, if we can get it off, I'm probably going to pull the whole thing apart because that's something else I'm going to be talking about. Yep, okay, that doesn't want to come off, but let me show you the underside of one of these bricks, maybe. Nope, doesn't want to come off. Yeah, it does. You can see that they're square on the bottom, but despite that, they still have a nice quality click kind of feel to them, and I don't think that the bricks are particularly bad or worse. It's just that some of the building techniques are a bit odd, and some of them include these, which although look nice, aren't very firmly attached, so are very easily to come off if you knock the ship in any way. You also get these doors, which I believe they're meant to go up and down, but they really don't do that very well without just coming off because there's a very tight connection there. So that's something else which hasn't been really thought through by the people who designed it. And I think there's a lot of pieces that just are strangely used, like um, these pieces. These are hinge pieces that you probably know from Lego sets. Nowhere in the set are they used as a hinge. Everywhere they just use like this, which to me makes absolutely no sense. You've also got the construction of this um, big flat area. From a distance, and probably what it looks like in the video, it looks like, you know, oh, everything's nice and flat. But it's not. It's quite an uneven surface, and so therefore it's very hard to get together because a lot of the time you're connecting it onto just hollow beams, and so you're in fear of crushing it. And then I think the last thing I have to say that I didn't really like about this was the stickers were a menace to put on. Not only because the stickers were hard to get off the packet, because of their, um, they were those weird kind of stickers where you pull them off and then they don't, they're not sticky because that little paper bit comes off as well. Um, they were really big, like, you know, this is a one, men one massive sticker, um, and these are one sticker, and so you had to pop out all these center bits, which was actually quite difficult to do because of the fact that the way the stickers weren't particularly great. And then the last thing is that these stickers not only didn't go on as well as they were supposed to, as you can see, this runway is actually meant to be straight, but it's clearly got a kind of curve at the end because it didn't quite fit on how it was supposed to. I'm not exactly sure how it was supposed to do that, but apparently the instructions were different to what you actually get. But the stickers also go over lots of pieces, and I mean, a model of this size, you know, you can understand people saying, oh, you know, you can't have it up all year, you probably should take it apart, put it back into this box, but you can't do that with this set, otherwise you'll destroy all the stickers which really make the deck of this and because they all go over multiple pieces. I mean, see, this sticker here alone goes over three or four pieces. So imagine what these long ones do. So I think that that was a real shortfall of this part of the set. So I suppose my final thoughts on this set are um, a little bit mixed, to be honest. I mean, if you're into collecting large, you know, models, and especially for people who like building those plastic models with glue and paint and everything, this is really nice because it's got a nice size to it, it's got a nice design, and it does look quite good as a finished product. However, it's clearly not designed to be played with. It's much too large, much too heavy, and much too fragile um, to play with as an actual toy. Um, and so sometimes, you know, these aircraft kind of cheapen the feel a bit because they do don't they don't quite match up with the the kind of quality and kind of finish that the actual model gives off and look a little bit like cheap and nasty um, on the top if you want to display it as a finished model. And then I also think that you know. For all the, you know, complicated bits and pieces, it's certainly not a, design, a build for young players, and you really have to be a dedicated kind of fan who enjoys the building to get the value out of this set. So, considering the price, which if it was a Lego set would have been astronomical, but for this Lerman set, I think in Australia it retailed at about 150 if you bought it from a shop. It isn't actually bad for what you get and the amount of pieces that you actually get, but unless you're someone who, you know, wants to display their, likes to display their models, and just have something that looks really nice to look at, as opposed to something that they like to be able to play with and enjoy as a toy, then I think you'd have to say, don't worry about this set. Because although it's nice, there's a lot of strange things about it that make it a little bit too awkward to just, you know, go out and buy because you like ships. Or, you know, you've always wanted an aircraft carrier in your collection. 
And so I definitely think that you need to think about this one, and that it definitely doesn't have as wide appeal as some of the smaller sets in this series probably would, or if there was a Lego equivalent, probably would, simply because of some of the strange and kind of odd ways that they've done things, and the complex nature of the build. But anyway, that's my thoughts on this, which I do actually like it when it's finished, it does look quite nice. But you let me know in the comments what you think, and don't forget to do that other YouTube-y stuff, like subscribing and commenting and liking and favoriting and, you know, thumbs up, plus ones, those. Anyway, and stay tuned for more videos and reviews, and hopefully we can get to some more interesting items like the Slurban aircraft carrier. From Slurban, who's a company that I haven't heard of until today, but do do some really nice um, other sets and products, which would be interesting for you guys to check out, so I'll put their link in the description. Thanks for watching, and that's all we've got time for from Trains Extreme. Stories of the